Hey, this is Corey from Wolfpack Woodcraft, and today I'm going to be talking about my Jacks Are Better tarp. Now, if you've been following the channel, you've seen my AquaQuest King Camo tarp. It's big, it's heavy, it's got lots of coverage, it's really reliable and durable. But if you want to know how to save pounds and have something that's going to be a lot smaller and a light lighter, stay tuned. All right, when it comes to my Jacks Are Better tarp, it's a lot smaller tarp. So that's a, one of the ways that I saved weight. Now, it's not even a square cut tarp, it's a hex cut. So it's got a lot more material cut out of it so that the tarp itself is a lot lighter. So it's much lighter than a typical tarp because of how much less fabric there is. Also, I have a Dutchware ridge line, which is made out of zingit, which is very strong cordage, but it's much lighter than the paracord that I use on my AquaQuest. And then on my AquaQuest, I use just a fixed loop at the end of my cordage on the one end. Uh, on this, I have a Dutchware uh, hook. And this hook is very small, it weighs close to nothing. Uh, not only is it very, very small, uh, but it's also made out of titanium. And so it's very lightweight because of its size, but it's even lighter yet because of the material it's made out of. Titanium is very, very lightweight. Uh, and then on the other side, I have a, what's called a wasp. And so instead of a figure nine carabiner, I have a wasp from Dutchware, and this wasp works just the same as that figure nine, only the size is much, much, much smaller, and again, it's made out of titanium. So you're saving weight based on size, and you're saving weight on materials. And so it's a much lighter setup, because the tarp's lighter, the cordage is lighter, the wasp is lighter than the figure nine, and this hook here, it probably weighs less than the knot that I put at the end of my paracord in my other tarp. And so it's, everything about this is very, very light. And because it's so light, I chose to go ahead and put snake skins on this tarp. And so as you can see, it's strung up, but it doesn't really look much like a tarp. It's because it's in these snake skins. And what these snake skins do is they make your tarp a lot more manageable to set up in the wind and in the elements because now I can take my snake skin, move it back, and now I'm only dealing with one half of my tarp. So I don't have the whole thing flapping in the wind. I got much less surface area to deal with, a lot less that the wind can take away. And so it makes setting it up a lot easier in windy conditions. You still have to make adjustments, but it's a lot easier to make those adjustments when you're only dealing with half of your tarp at a time. So we'll stake this out. I'll go ahead and I'll stake out the back. Okay, so now we have one half of it set up and now that that's set up I can go ahead and remove this snake skin and now I can deal with this half of my tarp and as you can see I still need to make some adjustments but it's still a lot easier setup than not having them at all so tarp out the or stake out the back of the tarp I'm going to make a minor adjustment in the back here to make it tight. I'm going to make a minor adjustment here. And now it's set up. And as you can see, it's not your rectangle tarp. It's not as much material. And so it's lighter because it's not as wide. Plus, it has these cutouts. So these cat cuts 
remove that material which removes the weight. So I'm pretty sure this tarp weighs one pound with everything. And so as a one pound tarp setup compared to my five pound tarp setup, but the bigger tarp is a lot heavier, more robust and the covers a lot more. Okay. So you, there's the trade off. You get coverage and robust or a lot lighter, but a lot less coverage. All right. So as you can see, even though this is a much smaller tarp, you still get plenty of coverage. Plus you get a nice wider view, right? If the, if there was a storm coming, I'd probably take this tarp and put it lower so that it was closer to the ridge line of my hammock. And uh, I'd try to make it lower and more spread out so that it covers me better. But for right now, the nice breeze coming through on this hot day, the nice view that I have of the woods, it's so nice, I think I'm gonna take a nap. But before I do, make sure to leave your knowledge and your questions in that comment section. I wanna know, do you like your big tarps with lots of coverage, or do you like to save weight and carry something a lot smaller and a lot more convenient? Also, make sure to like and share these videos so that we can spread that knowledge to the people we care about most. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and come join the pack. I have a new video every Sunday and Thursday, and I can't wait to see you on the next one. But until then, I'm gonna enjoy my nap. Oh. Mm.